Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate, the Enhanced Edition. Fine. Let's go up the stairs. Fine. Our library is a man's harem of... You need something, stranger? I'm being confronted by everyone. Hang on. Hang on. Eh, blah, 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 blah. I just need to get away so I can load the game so I can find that guy. This guy. What? Sorry. Fine. I... A guy was talking to me as I was walking up the stairs. These walls contain the world's knowledge. Well, dip me in broth and call me a steward. If it isn't Terry Coleman, why, I haven't seen you in nearly quite some time. Hello, Theodem. How have you been? I still remember you running around the keep in your little swaddling clothes, measuring the elders and spooking the cows. Ain't that right, Jessup? Sure it was. Yep, of course. You never did stay in this racks of yours long. Yes, yes, I remember. How have you been? Be naked as a jaybird at the moment someone turned their back on you. I remember the day the fellow Blackstaff came floating in, and there you were, tearing around the keep with Gorion hot on your trail. Took the cloak right off his back, you did, and made yourself the, just the cutest little. Yes, 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 I remember. Could we drop it, please? How have you been? Wait, wait! I remember it all now! There was Kelvin Blackstaff, trying his hardest to look important while you ran through the stables with his cape tied around your waist. Such a lark, eh, Jess? I did that to Kelvin Blackstaff! Oh. Thought I'd catch you dead from laughing. You and me both. Grime was shaking like a leaf, he was so mad. As fun as this has been, I really should get going. Nobody was sure what to do. And then Kelvin mutters some words and catches you by the scruff of the neck with some sort of spectral hand. Pulls you out and drops you right in front of him, grabbing his filthy cape in the process. Everyone was scared they were, weren't they, Jessup? Sure enough, scared witless. Yep, and then old Kelvin busts out the biggest laugh you ever heard. When the keeper's laughing like mad, except you. you. You just stood there naked as the day you were born and wondering what the fuss was about. Too, those were the days. Um, yes, I think I'll be going now. Oh, certainly, little one. Stop by any time, though. I've got some paintings of you as a youngster I'm sure your friends would love to see. Remember the one with Teddy Coleman in the basking rug, Jessup? Sure we do. The buff as usual. Cute as a bug you are. Go play with your friends now. Go on. What? <sighs> Such menial tasks. Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> that man. Bearskin rug? Are there any bearskin rugs in Candlekeep? Right. Our library is a man's harem of knowledge. Hello, Terry Coleman. It's good to see you here once again. Pity you could not have returned during a more restful time. What's going on? Oh, it's nothing, I'm sure. Just that, well, things seem a bit strange around here. There's sadly unmerchant like folks, for one. And some of our own monks are acting odd as well. Really? Who would that mean? Well, and there is this fellow named Coveras. I assume he's visiting a sage of some sorts, but he seemed more interested in our guests than the tomes. Makes me nervous. I think he's had the same effect on others. Young Shistol's been out of sorts for days now. Not as thick-skinned as I. You remember how nervous he used to be? He's quite the opposite now. Seems a totally different person. I worry about him. I should go. It's nice speaking with you. Yes, a simple matter. You need something strange. Hello, Coverass. Ah, thought I might find you somewhere around here. Allow me to introduce myself. Please do. My name is Coverass. Yes, I totally buy that. Willie, wait, am I talking to myself? Oh, sorry. I used to work for your father, running messages to his harbor friends in Waterdeep. I'm most certainly not evil. I mean evil. I mean no. I mean uh, er. <coughs> sorry. Bug my throat. Before he passed on, he entrusted this ring to me and asked that I give it to you should evil ever befall him. Will you take it? If my father's will, then I shall wear it. Thank you for your kindness, Tim. Wear it with your father's pride above you, then. But you then. Before you go, listen to me well. The Arthrona here in the keep, even as we speak, they're at their weakest and most unprotected. If you ever hope to kill them, now is the time. Now go. The Iron Throne awaits you. Yeah, why not? Why don't we just kill him? You gave me a ring, did you? Coverass's ring of protection plus one. Yes. I thought it was a ring what of protection plus two. Would seem I was wrong. 
A simple matter. So yes, that was Coverass. The Lord of Murder shall perish, but in his doom he shall spawn a score of mortal progeny. Chaos will be sown from their passage. So saith the wise Alonso. There is trouble here. You must help me. You are right. I felt it too. Pray tell me how this aging frame can help you. As Chanter, you know the history of this keep better than any other. I have grown up here. I have played with its walls. There are many places I was never allowed to go. I am older now, and I will go where I must, but please. Are there any places in this keep which I never told? But, 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 what right have you to ask, child? I am not a child anymore, Chanter. The entire keep is in danger, even its most secret and sacred places. Please, Chamber, Chanter, Grime would have had it so. I am growing old, and the young are not so young anymore, nor the carefree so carefree. Orlando the Seer, the one who founded this fortress of knowledge, and whose prophecies I chant each day, he is entombed to be deep in the bowels of this place. I tell you this, Terry Coleman, because you're right, it is time you knew, but I beg you in Gorion's name, do not venture into those trapped and boarded halls unless some higher power than myself bids you. Your stepfather would never forgive me for your loss. I must go now, child. T Terry Coleman. It's time to chant the seer's prophecies as I always have. What? Fine. I think it's time to go upstairs. What? There's nothing more up here. Fine. And let me guess, when I go up these stairs, we shall be confronted by more people to talk to. I could have asked him about people who are being odd lately, but there is really no point. I do see a good opportunity to absolutely murderize the Iron Throne's leaders, though. Yes, a simple matter. Nope. Such menial tasks. No one here? Yes, this is where they are. And yes, I'm probably going to murder them. <laughs> My dear ma'am, you must realize that it is the manners that makes a gentlewoman, so would you kindly prove to the that you are the one by leaving? The right people can afford to be rude, but this is not you. Leave now before my irate companion Bruno lets his temper get ahead of you. You're the leaders of the Iron Throne. We're the ones who've caused you so much trouble over the past weeks. We know what you're all about, and soon so will Duke Elton. You're the... And you're stupid enough to admit this? Well, my young friends, you may find safety within the library, but once you've left, there will be no place for you to run. Kovras told us you were undefended here at the keep. Perhaps we could kill you and probably get away with it. Kovras? Who is Kovras? Of course. It seems that I have taught my son all too well. Well, my young pups, you've been set up to be used as dupes. Kovras does not want what's best for you, but rather what's best for him. Well, you should stop this foolish battle about doing battle and get out of our conference room. We don't intend to leave. We intend to kill you. This is most distasteful. I've always known that rudeness is how the weak make themselves look strong. Even if you were somehow beat us in battle, how would you escape the keep? Or did you think that the monks would let you go about murdering everyone within their keep? Crush the mutton hits, boys! Something troubling you? Ha! I'll murder your face! Can you disturb me? There he is. Again, as directed, for now. Yes? <laughs> oh, God, you have lightning bolts. You have lightning bolts. To be fair, I don't actually need to kill these people. What? Such mean tasks. And I won't. Just to prove a point. Um, we'll leave, but don't think this is over. That's fine, little ones. I'm sure we can expect to see you in the future, if not in person. 
then at least your heads. What? Such mean. What happens if I talk to them again? Your arrogance is most distasteful. We're not going to kill them. For one very specific reason. They're not armed with anything important, I don't think. They're armed with pretty much nothing. I mean... <laughs> just a few magic baubles here and there. Who are you? Such menial tasks. I need to find something important. Yes, fine. No, excuse me, but I'm late for my classes. Do you not recognize me? All the other monks gave me a welcome. Why not you? I have no interest in line chattel. If you knew the daily routine of a monk, you would understand. I know the routine well. I've lived here for many years. It is you who should know me. Uh, of, of course. It's just that I do not recognize your face. I'm just not acquainted with all the monks quite yet. Yeah, I was not a monk. I think you're lying. You would do well to leave me alone. I tire of this game. Take your questions and go away, monkey. Oh no, I have many more questions to ask. For starters, who are you really? I am your death, foolish meat! Oh look, it's what? a doppelganger! Oh, it's a greater doppelganger! Stop touching me! Oh, he's not just a normal doppelganger, he's oh, doppelganger with bells and whistles! They have spells! Like haste and death! Yes, such menial tasks. Yes, fine. Well, that man's dead. One of these rooms. This I'll do your toil. Oh, spells. What is it? Fine. One of these rooms, I think, is... Ooh, something under the pillow. Darkness prevail. 20 gold! Is fine. We shall loot that. Yeah, greater doppelgangers are not nice. They have the ability to do that. They have haste. Priest of Ogma. What? Fine. I need to find one thing in particular. It's locked. This better be I'll do your toy. Come on, buddy. Mm. Oh. What is it? What? A simple matter. Someone has noticed you. You hear guards being summoned. What such menial tasks? Um where? Yes, a simple matter. I should have joined. Oh, there they are. What I'll do your toy. I should have joined the army. Up yours, you uppity bold virgin. What? I may not kill you after all. Okay, that's what happens if you decide not to hand yourself in. You're a have become death, what? destroyer of worlds! Yeah, um, we don't want to do that. I'm just sort of saying, we, we don't have... dragons with feet like rabbits. Tis what? True, I we don't actually want to attract the guard's attention, so... Uh... Yes? Such mean Okay, so let's go up. Let's go murder that dude again. Because he's a dude that must be murdered. Hello, um, obvious monk who is very obvious. Speak at me. Um, what are you doing? It, such We're most attack. certainly not surrounding you, so it's I easier to murder you when not. you inevitably turn against us. Suck your um, what? Oh, fine. Excuse me, but I'm late for my classes. You're late for yes. your classes. Your class of death! Something troubling you? Oh, I suppose you've got a magic missile you have. You one. are so irritating. Well, you're going to die. Oh dear! You 
Dad. If I must. Go pick up the stuff, Edwin. A gem! What? Fine. I guess there's nothing of interest on this floor for us then. I know we've gone too far if we see the if what? we see Fine. the um the guy who would have otherwise given us a tutorial. If we see him, we've gone too far up. Our library is a man's harem of knowledge. Uh, Terry Coleman, good to see you. I, I trust you are well. I was to be expected, Pato. How have you been? Oh, I pine for the days when you and Garayan still cook candle keep home. You brought a bit of energy to these walls. I shall have to speak to you later, though. But for now, you must rest. Garayan's old room is the third and south corridor, just as it was. I think there are a few things for you as well. Such menial tasks. Is uh, this his room? Um. What? Is such menial tasks. A letter. This is what I'm looking for. Hello, Terry Coleman. If you are reading this, it means I have met an untimely death. I would tell you not to grieve for me, but I feel much better thinking that you would. There are things I must tell you in this letter that I might have told you before. However, if my death came too soon, then I would have never been given the chance. First off, I am not your biological father, for that distinction lies with an entity known as Baal. Plot dump! The Baal that I speak of is the one you know of as a divinity. Godhood! In the crisis known as the Time of Troubles, when the gods walked Faerun, Baal was also forced into a mortal shell. He was somehow forewarned of his death that awaited him during this time. For reasons unknown to me, he sought out women of every race and forced himself upon them. Your mother was one of those women, and as you know, she died in childbirth. I have been her friend, and on occasion, lover. Oh. I felt obligated to raise you as my own. I have always thought of you as my child, and I hope you still think of me as your father. You are a special child. The blood of the gods run through your veins. If you make use of our extensive library, you will find that our founder, Orlando, has many prophecies concerning the coming of the spawn of Baal. There are many who will want to use you for their own purposes. One, a man who calls himself Seravok, is the worst danger. He has studied here at Candlekeep and thus knows a great deal about your history and who you are. Gorion. Yes? Great! What? So now we know... Everything. We know who we are. We know that we're basically a child of a god. One of many. What? Fine. Great. But what does this have to do with us? Our rules are very strict. You there! Stop and surrender yourself. You're accused of murdering the men Brunos Kostak, Thaldorn Telfikth, and Rachia Anchev. If you give yourselves up now, you will be assured a fair trial. We are going to murder anyone, so we're perfectly willing to go to trial. Our innocence of this accusation should be refuted quickly, with any fair court of law. I am glad you still have some of the sense Gorion taught you. Please follow me. I'm sure everything will be sorted out quickly. No, it won't! Because we didn't kill those people! I specifically didn't! Hello! Someone disturbs me. So, Derek Coleman, you've sullied your father's name by defiling his home and bringing ruin to a peace that has lasted for centuries. I spit on you and all your friends. Your transgressions will be punished in the most severe form. I formally accuse you of the murders of Bruno Kostak and Radar Alchiv. But I've done nothing wrong. Why have you accused me of such a thing? Why have I accused you? You were seen murdering the murder scene. Coveras found the identifying ring of a shadow feet assassin in your personal effects, and gold minted in arm. I feel that it is strong enough to prove to accuse you. From everything that I've seen and been told, it's not hard to figure out what your purpose was. I've been told you've been trying to place all the misfortune of the Sword Coast squarely on the shoulders of the Iron Throne. I assume your friends are assassins in the employ of arm. Perhaps you were sent up north to create discord in the region before an Amish invasion. Matters little. You and your friends are to be sent to Baldur's Gate where an appropriate punishment will be administered. Really? Get the feeling we've been stitched up by some doppelgangers, don't you? <laughs> yep. Well, this is the end of the game, folks. Thanks for watching the Let's Play of Baldur's Gate. I'm Kikoski here, and uh, 
Next time we'll be playing something totally- Oh wait, here comes someone else. Greetings, young one. Hello, young one. I'm sorry to see thee in such terrible circumstances. I know thee well enough to see that thou have been falsely accused. Tomorrow, Old Rat will most likely sentence thee to be sent to Baldur's Gate. There thou wouldst receive the death penalty for these actions. I know that Grime would not want to see his only child killed a scant few weeks after his own death. Tis a favour to his memory that I will help thee escape. Make thy way through the catacombs beneath the library, but disturb them not. I have your possessions with me. You must take them and go with haste. Uh, we have our possessions too. <laughs> Do you know anyone in the name of, by the name of Cobras? I know not one named Cobras. This is the reverse of Seravok, a young man who accompanied the leaders of the Iron Throne when they first came. Da da da! If you hadn't realized this by now, take two silly points and add them to your score. I know not where he has gone. I know it is now time for you to go. <laughs> Gary Coleman, I can teleport you to the secret room at least the catacombs, but from there you're on your own. You must be careful within the catacombs. There are many guardians and traps, and perhaps whoever planned these murders. However dangerous the catacombs may be, it is a safer alternative than Ulran's wrath. Teleport us to the secret library. We're as ready as we'll ever be. Yep. The doors lead to the back from the looks of it is heavily warded. Luckily, Tetheral teleported you past such an obstacle. Common sense dictates that you make your escape through the opposite door. And we shall make our escape through the opposite door. So, falsely accused of murder. Were it this party's way, they would have actually wanted to do it. But I didn't kill them purely to say that I didn't kill them. It is quite funny if you actually do kill them. You say, but we did murder him. And they're like, oh, well, I get the feeling you would have been set up for it anyway. So, folks, I'm Kokoskia, and this is not the end of the Let's Play. Still a fair bit more to go. Till then, folks, I'll catch you later. See you then.